this is possibly the hardest, whoa, there's a lot of you, wow, okay. <laughs> Um, this was possibly one of the hardest topics that Pastor Art could have ever chosen. Um, mainly because I don't know how to speak on something that I wasn't living. So I spent the majority of my life being busy all the time to the point that it started to actually affect my health a few years ago. And you thought that that would teach me something, but it didn't. And so I'm battling back and forth trying to figure out how I should speak on this because it felt a little bit hypocritical for me to speak on something that I didn't, I didn't live. So this actually came out yesterday, literally just a few hours before I fell asleep. And God showed me the process and the steps that I need to take to be a woman, a woman of rest. So this is really what my process is, and I'm at the very beginning, so this is not something that I've mastered. So being a woman of rest means being a woman that can admit that she needs it. And life has programmed my thinking to be okay with running on a quarter tank or half a tank, but never on full. And I've had people just say, you know what, you just need rest, you need rest. And no matter how much sleep I got, by the time I woke up, within an hour, I was like, that did nothing. And it got to a point where rest actually became very unnatural for me. So I, I found myself in Psalms where it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul. So something that I knew that was readily available to me, but I have to first acknowledge that I was in lack. You can't feed somebody who's convinced that they're already full. You can't find rest when you're convinced that you're not tired and you're not weary. So for me, that was the first step, was admitting that, God, I'm tired, I need a break. I've been saying I need a break for the past month, but I haven't been able to find that. So I think getting to that point of, I, need, I know that I need to be restored, I know the importance of rest, but because it felt so unnatural to me, I didn't know where to start. So God showed me that the first place is to admit that I need it. And the second thing that God showed me was that being a woman of rest means being bold enough to take it. And a lot of the reasons why I don't rest is because I convince myself, well, I have to pay this bill or I can't call out of work just because I'm tired because people are counting on me. And the biggest thing that came to me was there were legit reasons. Like you have kids who need you, you have um, just obligations and they're legit things. But the main reason that stuck out to me why I wouldn't rest is because in my head, I felt that if I slowed down, if I stopped, if I considered myself for at least a second, then everything else would fall apart. And it wasn't a thing of pride. It was that I know that people are counting on me in this area or I committed to this. And even though it's a lot on my plate right now, I have to see it through. So there were all these obligations that I set on myself. So even if I got to a place where, okay, yes, I understand that I'm in lack, but there's no way that I can take it right now. And that was a vicious cycle which started my health problems and getting injured a lot um, throughout the years. And I had to, not I had to because I'm still learning how, um, to, I'm learning to train myself to say, it's okay for me to say no to this thing. Yes, I said I would go out with my friends, but you know what, I need to rest. Or yes, I knew that I was gonna commit to this thing, but right now, my health is what I need to focus on. So a quick story was I was dancing, hmm, I don't know how many hours commuting to the city, working two jobs, so, Working, dancing 10 hours straight to come take the train back to the city to teach for like four hours, then like it was just a lot. And I got to a point where I got injured and I couldn't walk. 
I had nerve damage in my back and I still wasn't resting. So it actually started to take a toll on my health. So being bold enough to take it means that you have this unapologetic rest where you're saying that it means letting go of toxic or draining relationships or leaving that job that pays well but it's taking a toll on you. Or for me, dropping social media for a little bit because it's taking up a lot of the time that I could be using spending in rest. I just, because it felt so unnatural, I forced myself to fill those times with things that I, I had no business doing or no business being in. And the third process, the third step that God showed me was being a woman of rest means personifying rest itself. So that once you have acknowledged it and you've been bold enough to take it and to reclaim those areas of your life, that you can now become rest for a place of rest for others. And it has become second nature to you. So your spouse and your kids and your coworkers and people that you come into contact with can find that rest and that peace in you because you have spent that time committing and reclaiming those areas of your life that you have lost and just allowing that process to then overflow. And you can easily pour out to people because you're not spending your entire life running on an empty tank. So this process, again, it is not something that I have mastered. It is something that God has showed me that I need to take the steps because I was always like, yes, I know that I need it, but I don't know where to start because I've conditioned myself to believe otherwise that I don't deserve it or I can't take it. So it starts with a change of mindset. It starts with the day-to-day -day decisions on what, you, what parts of your life you will reclaim for your, for your peace and for your rest and for your sanity and for your well-being. So this wasn't so much, for me, it wasn't a, a spiritual rest thing, but because I couldn't physically rest, there was no way that I was allowing God to then pour into me or I was allowing myself to spend enough time with him. So being a woman of rest for me was first acknowledging it, taking it, and then becoming a woman of rest.